Hey, what's up everybody? If you've been wondering what foreclosure homes are and what the difference between a foreclosure, a short sale, and an REO is, I'm gonna tell you right now. All right, so Preston Kelshen Realtor here, Windermere Real Estate, and I wanna to explain to you uh, something that gets kind of confusing sometimes, and it's what's the difference between a foreclosure, a short sale, an REO, a bank-owned home? We hear a lot of things like that, so I'm gonna just give you a quick rundown on what the difference is on those and where to find them and how to buy them. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'll give you the best tip at the very end of the video. So first off, I'm gonna jump into the computer and I'm gonna show you how to find a foreclosure on our website because that'll be the, the quickest, easiest thing to show you. It's northwesthomelistings.com, hop right in there. And then you click the foreclosures link right at the very top there. And this will allow you to search for foreclosure homes anywhere in the Northwest MLS. So you just choose your county, choose a city, price, all that stuff, and it'll just return foreclosure listings um, as long as you go from this page. We also have compiled lists, pre-populated pre, uh, lists of all the Snohomish County foreclosed homes, the short sale homes, King County foreclosures and short sales, so they're really easy to find, and you can save the search just by clicking this link right here, and you'll get updates to those daily, weekly, monthly, whenever you want to get updates um, on foreclosures and short sales in, in the area you choose. So super easy, northwesthomelistings.com, click the foreclosures link. So what is a foreclosure? A foreclosure home is a distressed property that has gone all the way through the foreclosure process, like the notices on the door, the, uh, the courthouse step sale where they, the bank tries to auction the property for a cash bid. Oftentimes the reserve set there is not um, or is so high that the bank ends up taking the property back and then they'll sell it on the open market rather than trying to find a cash bidder unless the condition's pretty bad. Uh, they may just let it go on the courthouse steps. But in any case, once it's been uh, auctioned at the courthouse steps, then the bank will typically list it um, as a foreclosed home. So this is a foreclosure home. It's, it's being auctioned by the lien holder or the mortgage holder uh, or the bank, which are in essence the same thing. Um, a short sale is before that, right? A, uh, an owner needs to sell their home, but they're short of what they owe for it. Um, it's not worth uh, in this market what their mortgage uh, balance is. So let's say they owe 400000 on their mortgage and the house is only worth 350000 Well, the owner needs to convince their lien holder and their mortgage holder that they're going to sell short and make a short sale and it's because of a hardship in their life. Maybe they lost their jobs or some other situation. Um, in a declining market, we see a lot of this because people have borrowed against their home or uh, purchased for very high prices and then the market goes down, yet we still need to sell we get in a short position. So that's what a short sale is. If that doesn't work, or the bank says, no, we're not selling short, or no buyer comes along that's willing to pay enough, then oftentimes this is foreclosed on, becomes a foreclosure home. So that's what a foreclosure home is. That's what a short sale home is. An REO property, uh, you'll hear that a lot, it stands for real estate owned. It really is a bank owned home. Um, it means that some other entity besides the owner is, is selling it. It's a third party sale. Um, these can often be auctions, bank-owned properties, corporate-owned properties, relocations that are considered REOs, but typically REO is a term that's kind of flung around, but really means bank-owned, it means foreclosure. So there's really two things we're talking about here, and they're foreclosure homes and short sale homes. Here's how to find them. NorthwestHomeListings.com, click foreclosures. We kind of went over that. How do you buy one? Well, once we find one, we bought, we want to make an offer on it. We've toured it. We've looked at the condition with someone that's familiar with stuff like this, like our agents or, or myself. We've walked through a lot of foreclosure homes over the years and there's little nuances to the offer process. It's really a lot like the traditional uh, resale offer, but they're typically bank addendums, bank contracts, which we recommend you have reviewed by your attorney. Um, but there are other little nuances. How do they want the pre-approval letter? What type of proof of funds are they requiring? What's the earnest money format? Um, where is the bidding done? Is it through traditional MLS forms or is it done on the bank's website or through some other third-party um, offer platform? There is a lot 
a lot of different nuances. So we need to understand that um, in order to make a good qualifying bid in order to purchase one of these. Because, yeah, there can be some great values out there, but you're not going to win one unless you're working with an agent that knows how to do the bid and knows how to make, you know, you need to make a respectable bid. Banks know what their properties are worth. They're not giving them away. Um, banks are, you know, they're really tight with their dollars. That's why they're the bank. So we need to make a good offer, watch these properties carefully, study the comps, um, and make a good argument to the listing agent and to the the bank asset manager who ultimately makes the decision on whether or not they sell the home. So a lot of different nuances. We're pretty good at it here at Northwest Home Listings. We'd love to help you find a foreclosure or just any home. So check us out, northwesthomelistings.com. We got more videos for you. Thanks for watching this one. Hope to see you soon.